Hello all, welcome to my channel Tech with SAS. I hope you must have noticed a lock like icon in the address bar of the browser whenever you browse any website like your bank website or an e commerce website, right? That gives us more confidence, okay, because we feel that it is a secure website. If you click on the lock icon on that address bar, you will see a certificate. It is issued by the C authority, like we have the interest or disease cert, which issues the certificates to the website. Okay, so that basically proves the website authenticity and it says it means that the website is genuine and we can interact with it. So, in this video, we are going to understand how the certificate works and why it is important. Whenever we are communicating over internet, maybe we are communicating like peer to peer or peer to machine. So that is uh, really important to understand. But before that, if we want to understand this, let us first understand how the uh, public key and private key encryption works in case we want to use in the signatures used digitally, right? So suppose we have a person A. And we have person B who want to communicate over the internet. And we know that in internet is filled with intruders or hackers. If they will communicate with each other using like a plain text communication, then somebody can eavesdrop their communication and they can read it. So person A is going to create a public key and private key first. And then what he does that that public key is stored into the like a central service or cloud service. Okay, because it's a public key, so anybody uh, can get a public key and use to decrypt his messages. Now, person A will create a message to be sent to the person B, and that will be encrypted with his private key. Then, when you are sending it to the person B, it is safe and secure. Now, the person B, B will get the key from the central repository or cloud and decrypt it and read it. So, this communication is secured by the public key and private key infrastructure. Okay. Now, let us see what are the drawbacks or pitfalls of this communication. So, yeah. So, same case like we have person A and person B want to communicate and person A like we have seen earlier, creates a public key and private key pair and he stores that public key into the cloud, prints a message, and basically uh, he sent that message by encrypting with his private key to the person B. But what happens when a hacker uh, basically intercepts his message and reads it? So, what he can do, he can change his message. By, by decrypting uh, his message using the public key. Then he can create his own private key and public key pair and that he can uh, store in the cloud service and send that new message or the tempered message to the person B. And person B has no means to understand that either this message is genuine message which came from person A or somebody like a hacker who changed something in between. So this is the issue with the the signature which we use digitally. But how? But what is the solution for this problem? Solution for this problem is to use the third party certificates. The third party certificates, like I already told that. Uh, like authorities like DG Cert or Interest, uh, they basically uh, issue the certificates to the websites or individuals, and that can be used by uh, us or websites. Like so, basically these certificates verifies the identity of the owner, and also it verifies the public key. So whenever they are issued to uh, uh, the uh, parties or the websites. They have the certificate along with the public key. So now, whenever like we, I mean, whenever like we go to, we have passport, right? Similarly, 
uh, whenever we show a passport to third party, it verifies it with the government, right? Similarly, here now we have the third party as a, a CAs, like the who issues the certificates. So similarly, uh, this uh, this becomes the most secure communication, and and that can that can't be tempered by the hackers or intruders. Okay, so let's see how it basically works in a very simplified manner. Now, person A want to communicate to person B, so he is not going to use the old way of creating public key and private key pairs, but he will obtain a certificate from the CA authority, maybe registered to interest or any other issuing authority. Then what happens that whenever he want to send a message to the person B, he will also encrypt uh, his message along with, uh, he will send that message along with a certificate to person B. So now person B has the confidence okay he will verify the certificate certificate has some information like who issued the certificate who is the uh, the person who is holding it or claiming it to be so those things are verified so that makes sure uh, that this communication which is happening between these two persons is secured by the legal certificate so this is how uh, the certificate concept was at a very simplified level i will also make uh, some videos that will basically show us uh, the deep understanding of this. But for now, whenever a person A want to send a message to person B, he will use the certificate obtained from the C authority like interest or uh, the DigiCert along with the public key and send it to the person B. And person B will verify uh, that certificate and then it will basically read it and there is no chance of any hacking or any tampering with the message. Okay, so what does the certificate contain? So, I mean, if you click on that uh, padlock in the address bar of a browser, you will see the lot of information over there, but in a simplified manner, what information it shows, basically certificates owner, who is owning it, what is the owner's public key and expiration date, whether it is revoked or not, and also the who issued this uh, certificate and their signatures. And there are more information on this. Whenever we'll make a video on the deep understanding on the certificates, I'll include the details. But for now, you can understand that certificate uh, is basically comprising of the information about the holders, basically the uh, owner's detail and issuer detail. So that's how uh, it basically well, so uh, with this, thank you very much for watching uh, this video. Uh, see you next time. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask in the comment section. I will try to answer them to best of my knowledge. Please subscribe as well and thank you for watching. Thanks a lot. See you next time.